We got 6.2, questions 1 through 9 odd. Okay. Uh, number 1 is, uh, what do they do? Number 1, they said cosine of A equals 12. Oh, cosine A is equal to 12 over 13. Okay. If, if that's true, we know so, ka, well it's ka, so yeah. cosine. So this is A over H, right? We're talking about A, so it's A, this is A, and this is H, okay? So then um, this is 12, and this is 13, right? And so what they want us to find is C. They always want us to find C. Um, oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, A meaning the adjacent. Okay. And H meaning the hypotenuse. So remember, B is across from B. Okay? A, little a, is across from A, and C is across from C. Okay? Um, so they really want us to just find. Oh, and they're saying, whereas, so they want us to find C, and they want to say, whereas, uh, B is equal to 39, okay? So they're saying that, uh, in this case, B is equal to 39, but yet we're saying B is 13, right? And so, when we're saying B is 13, well, how do we get 13 to become 39? Through multiplication, like through dilation, right? This is a the base, this is always the reduced number, the reduced number. So we're going, okay, 3. So we said 3 times 13 is 39, right? So now we're going to go 3 times 12, which is 36. So then C is going to be 36. You see how that works? It's always going to be the same thing. So with this one, okay, we have the same C, B, and A. Okay, we have B, A, and C. Okay, so this is whereas. It's a symbol for whereas. All right, so. All right. And we can write it more like they would in the book. So in the book, they're going to say number three is tangent of A. So tangent of A is equal to uh, five twelfths, right? And so and uh, A is equal to fifteen. A is equal to fifteen. So they're saying A equals fifteen. Right? And they're saying the tangent of the angle A is equal to, to 5 over 12. So tangent is TOA, right? So that means this is opposite and this is adjacent, right? So A is this angle, right? So opposite is going to be this guy, OPP. And the adjacent is going to be this guy. Right? And so, uh, we just had to figure out, okay, well this, the, the opposite's going to equal or be a similar, right, to uh, what? Uh, the opposite's going to be similar to 5, right? And the adjacent's going to be similar to 12, right? And so, how do I change a 5 into a 15? You take one away. No. Times yeah. it. Yeah. So three times five equals fifteen, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do the same thing to the twelve. Three times twelve equals 
36. So C in this, in this case, C is 36 also. Okay, double check. Yep, that's right. Okay, so now let's move on to 5. You want anybody to get the notes down, please? Okay. Please, thank you. Alright, so let me set up the picture again. The picture is the same picture. Triangle. You're too funny, Dan. Oh, so there you go. Okay. And then we've got uh, A and A, C and C, B and B, right? And uh, they give us some givens. The given is uh, cotangent A. Uh oh. Cotangent A is equal to 6. Oh, shit. Okay. The cotangent of A is equal to 6. It was just starting to ask me if she could stay in calculus. I But she has to at some time. You should make her come in today. Hey. Okay. So cotangent A is equal to 6. Uh, A is 1.4. Alright, so we need to think about uh, uh, what is going on here. This, one's a little, this one seems a little harder. When we think of 6, we got to think of a fraction, right? So when I think of 6, I think of 6 over 1. Does that make sense? So if that's the case, then what's the, what would be the tangent of A? Yes. So tangent of A would equal 1 over 6. Does that make sense? Right? Okay. Now, tangent is opposite over adjacent, right? Yeah. So opposite over adjacent. So in this case, we're talking about the opposite being this side. So it's approximately uh, 1. And then the adjacent side would be C, which is 6, right? But in this case, they're saying 1 is really 1.4. Right? So they're saying that this is really going to be... So 1 times X is 1.4. Right? 1 times something is 1.4. <laughs> okay? Do we know what that something is? What times 1 is, yeah, 1.4, right? I don't know, I was just thinking about it. <laughs> this one is actually kind of easy. I'm writing down still. I'm just trying to get everything down. This, this, this one's kind of easy because, like, it's just got to be 1.4, right? So then what's 1.4 times 6? We can put it in the calculator. So in this case, uh, 6 plus 2.4, right? Which is... Wait, not 3.4. <laughs> 8.4? Right? Uh, yeah. Is that it? Do not go on. Doesn't mean just wait three seconds and then go on. Yeah, okay. Right. Question. <laughs> question. Any questions? You got it? Yeah, that one made more sense. Yeah, wow. this is just dilation. So back to geometry kind of stuff. Okay, we're good. Alyssa. Yeah. Rosie. I don't know. Wyatt. I don't know. Rosie said let's put a fraction. Like what times one? He goes one point four. So we can put it in the calculator. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was like, what? That's how you know Rosie in class. And typically you would put it in a calculator because it would be like five times five five x equals one point four, and then you would put it in a calculator. But this one was pretty easy, which I'm shocked because actually I'm used to this uh, this pre-cal book giving you some seriously hard problems, um, and all these problems so far are like 
super easy. As far as I'm concerned. All right, how do we do these problems? Okay. Do it. Not So. at you. In this case, we, guys. In this case, we want to find the h. Now they want you to find it without a calculator. Okay. So you have to know some things. The first thing you need to know, this is a 45-45 triangle. So you should know, right? Oh, this is a hard one. Yay! Finally. This is the okay. Hard ones. <laughs> Yay! Finally. <laughs> the way you said it. Oh, this is the hard ones. So this would be x, this would be x, and this would be x square root 2, right? I don't like how happy you got it. Oh, because this is fun. So, finally, something challenging. Okay? So 25, right? To figure out x, I have to realize that these two are equal. Right? And once I know that, I can figure out x. x square root 2 is equal to 25. So how do I figure this out? What do I do? Uh, yeah, know what x times 2 is equal to So how do I figure it out? That's exactly what he just said, I go. <laughs> What's the square root of 2? Huh? What's the square root of 2? This is a really nasty number, 1.3, blah, 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 blah. Could you divide it? I mean. Yeah, divide it by? Come on. Square root of 2? Okay. Because your whole point is to get x alone, right? Okay, so x equals 25 divided by the square root of 2. But we can't have the square root of 2 in the bottom. Yeah, Who remembers the trick method? Not that the square root of 25. Multiply by square root of 2. Right? Now you could multiply by the square root of 2, or you could know the trick. Guys, move it to the top. Remember yesterday? 25 square roots of 2 over 2. It's that simple. Move it to the top. And keep the number down below. Yeah. yeah. What the fudge? Okay. It's real easy. Now this is what X is. So that's what H is. Is that right? I don't see I don't I don't know. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. Where did you get the black triangle from? He just drew it up. Oh, you have to know that in your head. No, serious. <laughs> Seriously. So, have to you can make it up, right? Uh, almost wrote on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, you can make it up, right? If you know that this is X and this is X, right? Because it's a 45-45 triangle, which is half of a square. But I don't know what this is, right? So, this is C, right? Okay. So then a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, right? And so what's x squared plus x squared? 2x squared. Yeah, 2x squared. Do not say that so. And then what do you do? Square root. Square root. And what happens is we pull out a pair. We pull out a pair. And whatever isn't paired up. And so now I know that that's x square root 2. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So this is our 45-45, you know, helper uh, triangle. Okay. So that's the one we always want to use for the 45-45. Now there's also one for 30-60-90. So do you guys want me to erase this or move to a different board? Are you going to take a picture? I don't know. I got Okay, so we need to know the 30, 60, 90, so let's go, uh, let's erase this for right now. Wait, are we on number 9 now? Or still? Yeah, we're on 9. Woo! Uh oh erased half a 9. Um, I think it's just a square like, rectangle like that, right? Yeah. It's a rectangle? Or, sorry, triangle. Triangle. Alright, so now I need to, uh, it, oh, and this is 30, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't it say 30? Yes. Oh, dang, sorry. I thought she was going to say something after. 
Okay. Okay. So this is 30 degrees. All right, so um, I need to know the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay? Uh, does anyone remember it? Uh, probably the other. I actually don't. For the first time. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, I actually don't. Yes. X. Which one's 2X? Is it the hypotenuse or is it the, uh, the long leg? No, no, yes. No, no, no. Now think about this though. What if you don't remember? You could put the x square root 3 in the... So think about what's the square root of 3 equal? So you put it in your calculator. What is the square root of 3? Put it in your calculator. Square root 3. You know what? Go get the calculator. You want to put it in? Come on. Come on, buddy. Please. 1.73. Okay. So the square root of 3 is equal to 1. Uh, square root of 3 is equal to 1.73. Right? This is the, the 1. So 1 is equal to 1. Right? This is 2. So 2 is equal to 2. So which one's the biggest? 2. The smallest. And the medium. Right? And so then you know that this is the small leg, x, right? 1x. Square root of 3x would be the long the medium leg. And then the longest leg would be 2x. And that's another way you can figure it out. Okay? Alright, so once you know all like that, that, okay? Once you know all that, you have x square root 3. Okay? And you know that this is the the 30, 60, 90 one, right? So where's 30? It's across from the small side. Where's 60? It's across from the larger side. Where's 90? Well, it's across from the largest side, right? All right, so we know these sides, blah, 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 right? So this is 30, this is 30, this is 60, this is 60. That means these have to be the same, right? So x is 150. So what's h? 2x. 2x. What's x? What? What x? x is? 150. So 2 times 150. So h equals? Uh, it's that easy. Are those 5 or zeros? Zeros. 